little friend. How are you today? I hope your news today is very pleasant. Today I was accompanied by this new friend. Introduce his name is Soda. Hey, Soda. Hi, Snowman. How are you today? Very pleasant. Today I feel happy. Soda, would you like to go on an adventure with us looking for animals in the river? Hooray! Sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, let's start the adventure. Hey, look, there's a snail. So funny. I like snails. In the previous video, we discussed snails. You still remember that, right? There are many types of snails. Apart from the many types, snails are shelled animals that move slowly. Hey, snowman, you have a lot of knowledge about animals, right? I am increasingly interested in learning about animals. In this world, there are many animals ranging from those that live on land, in water, and in the air. You can study in many places, and you can observe animals starting from those near your house first. Okay, let's continue our search. Now, we have arrived at our destination. Can you help me look for animals in the river? Good! Did you see anything? Hey, look, there's a crocodile over there. So, in this video, we will learn about the life of crocodiles in rivers. Let's get started. Crocodiles are large reptiles that live in various places, from rivers, lakes, to swamps. However, there are also those that live in brackish water, such as estuarine crocodiles. They like to bask in the sun and dive in the air. Apparently, there are several types of crocodiles. There are freshwater crocodiles and saltwater crocodiles. Freshwater crocodiles like to live in rivers and lakes, while saltwater crocodiles like to swim in seawaters. Each type of crocodile has special characteristics that make them unique. Baby crocodiles come from eggs laid by their mothers in a safe place. After hatching, they grow and develop into adult crocodiles. Adult crocodiles have an important job as predators in aquatic ecosystems, helping to maintain natural balance. Crocodiles are great predators. They like to eat fish, birds, and even small mammals. In fact, they can catch their prey quickly in the air. Crocodiles are ancient animals, which have changed little due to evolution since the time of the dinosaurs. Crocodiles can move very quickly over short distances, even out of water. This animal has very strong jaws that can bite with incredible force, making it an animal with the biggest bite force. Crocodiles have varying body sizes from type to type, ranging from dwarf crocodiles to giant estuarine crocodiles. Large-bodied species can grow longer than 5 meters and weigh more than 1,200 kiyars. However, baby crocodiles only measure about 20 simoniators when they hatch from the eggs. In general, crocodiles have long snouts, long bodies covered with horny scales, four legs and a tail. The unique physical shape of crocodiles includes a flat and elongated head. At the end of its head, there are two nostrils that are slightly prominent. Crocodiles are amphibians. They reproduce by laying eggs, so they are called oviparous animals. Crocodiles will dig holes in earthen mounds for the process of laying their eggs. Usually, female crocodiles will protect the nest and their children. During the mating and egg-laying season, crocodiles can become very aggressive and easily attack humans or other animals that approach. In the nesting season, crocodiles are very fierce in guarding their nests and eggs. Female crocodile mothers generally store their eggs buried under mounds of earth or sand, mixed with leaf litter. The mother then waited for him from a distance of about two meters. Although crocodiles are known as quiet animals, they also communicate. They use body movements and sounds to talk to each other. Sometimes, crocodiles can hear sounds from quite a distance. Crocodiles have a very important role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem in their habitat. As top predators, they help control the populations of the animals they eat, such as fish and aquatic mammals. By doing this, crocodiles help regulate the structure of freshwater ecosystem communities. Unfortunately, several types of crocodiles are threatened with extinction due to illegal hunting and loss of their natural habitat. We can help protect crocodiles by supporting conservation programs, such as captive breeding and habitat preservation. 
Let's keep the life of crocodiles sustainable. Hey, Snowman! Today I learned a lot about crocodiles. Thank you for taking me on an adventure and learning many things about animals. Of course! Next time I will invite you back on an adventure. Thank you for watching our video. Hopefully you now better understand and appreciate the lives of crocodiles in the wild. If you were entertained by this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. See you!